final package of the day. How do you guys think about this angle? Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people? <laughs> I just realized those are the first words that actually come out of my mouth today, which is why I'm a little bit off, I guess. That literally the first words to leave my throat this morning. <clears throat> <sighs> so lots of updates today and welcome to Thank You Thursday. I just had this tub here for testing. Okay, let's get right into it. First thing, uh, the eggs the eggs that I pulled from our female. If you watched uh, the video where we had to have an egg cut out of the snake, then you can go back and watch that video and see the details. But these are the two eggs that didn't make it, unfortunately. And my theory is the reason is that they were in her too long and they probably died in there not getting enough oxygen when she didn't lay them. And so they were kind of destined to, to fail. So, um, get a good look right there. You can kind of see the, the bluish uh, mold that has started to form. And um, I got a little bit of mold on the snakes, on the eggs they were attached to. So I just dust it with a little bit of this uh, antifungal foot powder. And that usually takes care of uh, any mold issues on eggs that are still viable and going to make it. Uh, but yep, yeah, unfortunately, uh, these two are obviously not gonna make it. And you can really tell, not just the coloration gave it away, but when you touch them, they're actually really, uh, solid you know there's not liquid in there anymore everything is turned solid so that's when you know that they're done so that's unfortunate but um still have eight good eggs to go in there and mom is also healing up and doing well so gotta count your blessings there and be thankful which is the theme of today's video uh before we get into all the thank yous um another thing to be thankful for another clutch of eggs from a very beautiful girl this is our Purple Passion girl, Violet. Purple Passion is a allelic combo between Mojave and Phantom. So all the babies are gonna be at least Mojaves and Phantoms. And also gonna be Het Pied because the dad was a, a Coral Glow Pied. So should be a really cool clutch when it comes out. I did want to uh, experiment this year with doing maternal incubation. However, uh, I was planning to do it with our Fire Clown girl because you know, it was her second year and she had nice size. This girl's being a really good mom, but I would like to see her go back on food sooner than it would take to these eggs to hatch and it's her first clutch too so I kind of, even though she's doing really good, look at how well she's wrapped on those eggs. I still want to, uh, I'm going to artificially incubate these eggs. But one of these times coming up you can definitely expect to see a maternal incubation happen which where I leave the eggs with the female and let her incubate them to term but I just, I want it to be not a first time female. Also as far as the thank you stuff goes we've got lots of packages from you guys, lots of uh, Lots of stuff over here that we're gonna be opening up on video. All right, let's get mom off of these uh, these eggs. What's up, baby? I'm gonna take good care of them, I promise. good eggs from this first time mommy Double check in there I think she should have them all out but I mean she was definitely done laying five good eggs we've had incredible uh, odds this year with the slug count we've had one slug this entire season and the rest for the legs freaking that's not something to be thankful for <laughs> Fantastic. Got my egg box ready to go here. I think we can just flop these all in here just, just like that. And call it a day. Yeah, that looks good. So looking at some of these packages, I can already tell you that a lot of these are gonna be uh, precursors to upcoming videos. So you'll, you'll be getting some uh, pre-updates on videos. Okay. <laughs> The idea behind Thank You Thursday is literally just that, just to say thank you to all you guys that um, really help me stay motivated to keep this channel going and keep making videos. Um, there's so many of you guys that leave great comments and they just give me that little extra oomph to, to really look forward to making these videos and 
I just wanted to give you guys all a big thank you. And I really do appreciate every single one of you that leave these comments and inspire me and keep me uh, motivated to keep going forward with what it is I'm doing because there's always going to be sides of things where people don't want to see you go forward and do the things you're doing. That's always going to be part of life no matter how much you try and fight it. So I appreciate all you guys that are down there um, keeping me moving forward. And I was listening to a podcast uh, the other day, the Joe Rogan podcast. It's a great podcast if you've never listened to it. I, I've been getting really into it recently. He's got lots of really awesome guests, lots of good information no matter what you're into, like especially this recent health journey I've been going on, I've been getting lots of good information there and lots of facts from neuroscientists and surgeons and athletes and fighters and, and people like that. One of the recent ones was a guy named Gary V, who's like a business guy, and I'm not really a business guy and that stuff doesn't really inspire me all that much, depending on how you know it's presented, but one thing that he did say that stuck with me is that... I'm saying this quite a bit lately, which is if you're feeling good right now, like for example I am, I feel enormously optimistic. You have a massive sense, you have responsibility to communicate that because the wave of negativity is extreme. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think it's super beneficial. I do have, I'm one of the most optimistic people I think I know as far as like <laughs> when I get myself into bad situations or when I'm in a bad situation, I always tend to gravitate towards what I see as the light and uh, the good side of any given situation no matter how bad it could be. So I, I do have that. So. I, I kind of took that to heart. I was like, I should, good, good. It's just, I, I've been doing it already, but I just give me another oomph to just like, make sure I keep on doing that. And, and it's easy for me. <laughs> I'm happy mother. No! All right, so we got a lot of stuff here. I don't want to, I'm not necessarily gonna open each single one on camera because there's a lot of these things. We could be here all day doing this. On one of the live streams, a couple of the live streams recently, I did ask um, people to send me a self-addressed stamped envelope so that I could send you back stickers as another thank you. Um, so if anybody wants to, there's always the mailing address down in the description. You can send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will send you back a sticker in that envelope. You just gotta send me the envelope because if I get thousands of people wanting a sticker, I can't, I'm not, I'm not rich over here, but I will send you guys a free sticker if you send me one of these that I can send to you with your sticker in it. And this first one is from Scott Govea. Awesome guy, I've got to meet at Tinley. He's got a, he sent me a picture of his uh, his retech eating a prey item here. <laughs> it's a great shot, Scott. Thanks for the picture, man. Oh, can I get you to sign this pic? Sure, dude, I will sign this. I will sign it, I will send it back to you. Uh, Blythe Dyson out of Arizona. Ah, sent me his own sticker. Dynamic Scales. Brian, if I get a sticker, I thought I should send you one too. Love everything you do for the community, your overall positivity you bring to the world. Keep being you and don't let anyone bring you down. That's the perfect message for this video. And he did it right. Self-addressed, stamped envelope. Sticker coming back in this thing to you right there. Sandy McGillhill, one of our awesome Patreon supporters up in Canada. Royal Empire in Philly, PA. Sent me stickers instead. Thanks. Cool stickers. Lori Minnick right here in California. Thanks, Brian. Can't wait to put my sticker on my Hydro Flask. Been a fan for a very long time. Keep it up. I will do my best to spread all the love with the Triple B and Freedom Breeder. Much love. Hang loose. Lori Minnick. There's something in there. B&B &B Torch Repair Service. Paul Marsh. If you ever need anything, give me a call. Keep up the vlogs. You got it, Paul. Thank you, sir. Jay Gilbert out of New Hampshire. Ooh, this is not just a self-addressed stamped envelope. This is other stuff. We got it. Thank you, Thursday. <laughs> See? Thank you, Thursday. Brian, thanks for being so positive. Always such a pleasure watching you and your fellow YouTuber shenanigans. Oh yeah, thanks for this sticker. Janet Gilbert. Gotta say, it feels a little weird jotting a note to a complete stranger. Hey, I do it all the time. It's, uh, it's good for you. Get out of your comfort zone. Thank you. Thank you. Tabby Holly here in California. I gotta say, I, lo I love all the notes that are coming with these. This is awesome. Cusco family, you guys are such a cute, sweet, and inspiring family. Keep up the good work. I love you guys. Thank you for the sticker. Absolutely. The whiteout. Did you spell it brain at first? <laughs> uh, I know a lot of people have done the same. Logan Chastain in Colorado. Ooh, sent cold hard cash too. What is this all about? Do you not have to send cash to me, dude? Thanks, son. I'm gonna go get myself a smoothie. And we got a picture of a nice red tail boa. Hey Brian, I love your videos and wanted you to meet my one-year-old red tail boa, Ollie. He's my favorite of my animals and I wouldn't give him up for the world. The original reason I was sending this is your free sticker giveaway. Now I 
have a challenge for your sons. So there's $20, half for Noah, half for Eli, in order to get the money they need to teach you something that you didn't know. It can be about anything as long as you didn't know it. Uh, good luck and don't overthink it. <laughs> Thank you for everything you do from Logan. I mean, they honestly, they, they do that on a daily basis almost, so they've pretty much earned it. Because Velociraptor is so fast, a Gigantosaurus has big, bulky legs and can't run at a great speed. But Velociraptor is so much smaller. Yeah, but Velociraptor has a toe, has a claw on it, each foot that could kill a T-Rex in two hits. Okay. Probably. All right, I guess it's all speculation, isn't it? Can you, can you tell me something? Can you teach me something that I don't know? You think I don't know? That's gonna be tricky because you know a lot more stuff than me. Yeah, but there's been plenty of times now where you've taught me something. If you could think of something right now. Did you know that Argentinosaurus wasn't the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't? Nope. The biggest dinosaur is Patago Titan. I did know that. But to be fair, that is something you taught me. Did you know that Dragonotus didn't have the longest tail of any animal? No. It was Diplodocus. Well, I knew about Diplodocus, but I didn't know about, what did you say? Dragonotus. Dragonotus. I didn't know about Dragonotus. That's a new dinosaur. I didn't. We'll count that. We'll definitely count that. I didn't know about Dragonotus. This is from Logan. Ten dollars. But it's these are each five dollars, and five plus five is ten. Mm-hmm. And I only have twos and ones, and I have two fives, which means I have. Five dollars to add to it. You have five dollars to add to it, or? Ten dollars to add to it. Thanks, Logan. Can you teach me something? Can you tell me something? I don't know how to teach. Oh, well, can you just tell me something that I don't know? Anything. Something you think I don't know. It's something that has oh, two horns on its nose. Two horns on its nose? Um, I mean, not that one. It's something that has stripes on it and white on it. What is that? A zebra. I know a zebra has stripes on it. Whoa. Oh, you're hitting me. Something that is, um, it has a rattly tail and it has a good eye vision. A rattling tail and good eye vision? Yep. A rattlesnake? Yep. <laughs> Do rattlesnakes have good eye vision? Yep. Really? And a rattling tail, too. Rattlesnakes have good eye vision? Yep. I don't know if that's true, but I didn't know that. We're, we're going to let that count. And also, you n don't know rattlesnakes. Oh, I know rattlesnakes, but I didn't know yeah. they had good eye vision. We're going to have to fact check you on that, but for now, we're going to count that as something you taught me. This is $10 from Logan for teaching me something I don't know. What is it? It's $10. You can buy stuff at the store with it. And is it a toy, maybe? Maybe a toy. You can spend it on whatever you want. I wanted a toy. Uh... Dragon toy, new and I never seen. Well, this is from Logan. What do you say? Um, I don't know. You don't know? No. Here, have this. You can buy a toy with it. Here. Hmm. What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> then I won. I thought there was more. I did have one. There's, you dropped it. Right here. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, you know what I forgot? Shout out to my boy Glenn Fry. Dude, I hope you are 
having endless tequila sunrises up there, my man. Top of the morning, friends and family from our friends Heather and Richard Yingling over there in Arkansas. Obviously, if you guys ever leave comments or read comments down below, you've probably seen Richard and Heather commenting. Their comment game is on point, and look, their envelope game is pretty on point, too. Oh, we got some Janis Joplin stamps. Several of them. Look at that little love patch. Ooh, we have to have Hillary sew this on something. Oh, stamp game out of control. Look at all these stamps. Look, they got enough, they put enough stamps here. I love tacos. I do love tacos. <laughs> hey, B, here are a few random items. The button is yours and the flower patch is for my girl, Hillary. Thanks for being an amazing and beautiful soul. We absolutely adore you and Hillary and the babes. You honestly bring so much sunshine and joy to all of us. Thank you so very much for being a great friend and amazing role model. You're my favorite, B. Sending love, Richard and Heather. Thank you guys. Oh, look at that, we got one from our Freedom Breeder family. Huge thank you to Freedom Breeder for, uh, well, everything really. Without Freedom Breeder, we wouldn't be able to do what we do so easily and well. Oh, stickers, sticker time. I didn't know we had stickers. Look, we got stickers. You guys want a sticker? You know, I'm gonna send some of these to you guys. And a business card, just in case you didn't know how to get a hold of Jesse. It's right there. It's right there. You guys wanna get a hold of Jesse about some stuff? There it is. There's his phone number, you can call him. <laughs> Sorry, Jesse, and you're welcome. Tina Shields in West Virginia. Hey, Brian, love your channel, great family. Send me the free sticker, please. I will proudly display it. Proudly. Three more envelopes, then we got packages. Did you know there's this whole phenomenon of watching people open things on video? There's like this thing about watching people open up stuff on a video, like, it's just a thing. Obviously it's a thing, that's why I'm doing it on camera, because people like to watch other people open up stuff on camera, on videos. What, what, do you, what do you think that, what do you guys think that's all about? From my buddy, Martial Law Morphs. There is gonna be a link down in the description for Marshall's channel. Marshall is not only one of our huge Patreon supporters, but he's also a moderator on this channel. And every time we do a live stream, him and our girl Shelly, um, who actually sent us some awesome uh, bubble guns and bubble toys for the boys and is always sending us good stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. We love you. Marshall just hatched his first clutch of the season. Got it. What's that? All right, guys. What's that? So here we go. Here we are. First clutch of the season. And it's a really nice one. Nice head clown clutch. Beautiful. You should go check out his channel, please. The link is right down there. Go check out Marshall. Marshall is easily one of the nicest and kindest people I've met. Period. Brian, thanks a million times over for everything you do. Thanks for being my friend and someone I know I can turn to when I need some help or guidance. I know it's not much, but I wanted to give you one of my stickers as a small token of my appreciation. Besides, you're always giving away your own. It's time you get some in return. Love and respect. Thank you, Marshall. I'm serious, guys. If I go over to Marshall's channel and I don't see 100 new subscribers there, I'm quitting. Amber Price, North Carolina. Uh, this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's from Tennessee. Thank you for the sticker. You're the man. You're the man. Chris Haynes. This one is from Fishhead Diagnostics. Nidovirus Quick Info Guide. Infectious Diseases Laboratory in Georgia. So if you guys listen to um, the Morelia Python radio podcast, you may have heard these folks on uh, Cody Bartolini and Pia. Really good friends of Forrest. Actually, I'd like to get the combo of Cody and Forrest on a video one time. If you think Forrest is filled with a wealth of information and, and can speak about it, you guys haven't heard Cody talk yet. Okay, this guy, I met, I met both of these folks in uh, Florida at the Daytona show last year, and man, let me tell you, to Cody can talk, dude. That guy can talk. You think Forrest can talk? You haven't heard Cody talk. But they sent me um, this nidovirus test kit they've been working on, and so I'm going to be sending and testing a couple of my snakes as a, uh, just, to see, just to see how it goes. I'm going to have to read through all this info, and I'll, I'll do a whole separate video on this stuff. And uh, fishheadlabs.com. I'm going to be testing every one of my snakes just to uh, kind of give myself peace of mind and know that everything here is good because from my understanding, you know, nidovirus is something an animal can carry for a long time and never show symptoms until it's too late basically. So I'm gonna give myself peace of mind. It's a little, you know, to test every single snake I have, it's a little bit costly, and uh, but it is something I want to do before the end of this year. So I'm gonna start by testing a couple here. Again, there'll be a full video on this. Another thing there'll be a full video on is what I believe is in this box. 
Never cut towards yourself. So this is from Louis Seiss, one of another one of our awesome Patreon supporters. It stemmed from an idea from Jim Campbell, a buddy up in Canada. So you can expect in a future video to see me putting on this bike helmet, as well as a leather jacket and my gloves, and handling the Pied Retic in a way that I don't have to react to her bites. She can try and bite me in the face, bite me on the hands, arms, bite me anywhere really. And I won't have to react to it. The idea is going to be to hopefully calm her down and let her get used to handling and realizing that biting isn't something she needs to do. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. So again, you can expect a whole separate video about that going forward. Thank you, Louie. Appreciate this, man. Final package of the day. Crazy shirt. Envelope. Brian, thank you for sharing your passion of reptiles with everyone. Hope to meet you someday. Elisa Espinoza out of Colorado. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for all the aloha. What do we got going on here? Paper! E malama ike kai. That's a uh, Hawaiian for uh, take care of the ocean, basically. Uh, pretty sweet. All right, take care of the ocean. Awesome Hawaii stickers. Oh no, <laughs> Hawaii shirt. Oh, it's even the right size, cause Hawaii. Oh, sorry, Glenn. Uh, uh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, all you guys. Thank you, Thursday. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you know when we put up the next video because, you know, Thursday wasn't scheduled. You're going to miss them. Don't forget to do it. Love you guys.